Hey, I'm Brian Van. I'm Max Van. And we're here today to break down the long-awaited RST Pro Series Evo Airbag One-Piece Race Suit. Well, we've been waiting for this a long time. We're proud to announce they are finally here and man did RST deliver on this. We are excited. So you already heard, RST Pro Series Evo with the In In Motion Integrated Airbag. As of the time we're shooting this video, retail price is $1,099 and that is with the airbag integrated into the race suit. Let's give them a little sizing info. So I am five foot 11, 150 pounds, and I'm wearing a size 40, 50. You are wearing a size 40, 50. This suit has the airbag integrated into it, and there is a CE level one certified back protector that is part of the airbag system that's already in there, so it is ready to ride, right? We have Level two armor in the shoulders, level two armor in the elbow and forearm, level two armor in the hip, and we have level one armor in the knee and shin. So this, as you see it, is a complete package. Now there are gonna be, you know, working with the airbag system, any type of technology, you're gonna have applications and things that you have to use in order to activate the system. That is of course the case with this. Fine points, this is going to ship with the in and box this is one that we have for one of Max's training suits. He's already using this product. This is the brains, the controller for the in and motion airbag system. In order for this to be activated, you have to create an account on the in and motion website. We have all those links on our website. And there's two ways to do this, okay? Think of this as kind of like, I don't know, like a cable box or something. You can buy this outright for $400. Or you can do what I would recommend, and what we're doing with his suit, is I would take advantage of their Revolution leasing program. It's either $12 a month or $120 a year. If you do the $12 a month, here in the U.S. we can't really, in most states, ride 12 months a year, you're able to pause the payments on the monthly program only for between one and four months per year. So if the $12 a month is something that's important to you, you're able to hold that off. Now, here's why I'm telling you to do the revolution. It's going to be about the warranty. When this effectively belongs to them, you're getting a much higher level of support and service. You have lifetime updates for free, and it has a lifetime warranty. If you have any issues with the box, they're going to help you via email or telephone. They have a U.S. office here now. Already talked to them on the phone. They're going to help you diagnose it. And if, in fact, they find it needs a replacement, they are going to send out to you of no charge to you, no charge for shipping, a replacement box along with a return label for the one that you currently have. So you don't have to send your first one back and wait. No, they're just going to get it out to you, and they're talking about a, a, a realistic time period of like 72 hours, right? So they're, they're going to be quick. Here's another big, big, huge difference with this system. Huge. huge. You can repack it yourself up to five times. So say you have a crash, <clears throat> say you're, well, let's pretend you're at a sport bike track time event and you're on your ninja and you're getting it done just... and your predicted lap timer shows that you're about to do a lap timer, a lap time that I've never done before. And I'm uh, again, at a track day on old tires, and again, it's a track day. Yeah, listen to your dad next time. But nevertheless, let's say you have a little fall, and you deploy your airbag. Your suit's still good, and you want to go back out. All you have to do, and we, we're stocking these to support this too, is you purchase the Recharge ca Gas Inflator Canister. It's like $99, man. You use your phone. You plug this thing in. We're going to shoot a video repairing his right? In and Motion has some great stuff on their YouTube channel. You're back in business, baby. Airbag recharged, right? Even if the suit, let's say it's, it's got a seam that's a little weird, you're going to set it out for repair later, throw a little duct tape on it and head out there and get after it. Get, get after it. 
you're good to go. It's a huge advantage. Now the five deployments, you fall in the same suit five times. You're most likely gonna need a new suit or you're gonna need it repaired. Correct. <laughs> now let's do a little math on that. How would you know, have you fallen before? Uh, probably yeah, let's, so let's do a little math. Okay, so you look at this suit and this standalone is a great race suit. We've been selling this Pro Series model for a couple of years couple now. Years, two years. They've proven to be durable, right? Protective. Customers love these things. Now it has an integrated airbag in it, so it's already a good quality suit. You look at comparable systems. The system itself is going to be a thousand bucks, right? Eleven hundred fifty thousand bucks, mm -hmm. and then you got to buy a suit. And that's another grand at least. At a minimum. At a minimum. So you're over two G's, but now if you buy a suit like this is, it's a very nice suit. Yeah. I would say some of the other stuff that's out there that's a grand that's tech air compatible, I'd say this suit's probably better, right? Or at least identical. So you're over two grand. Here you're at $1,099. Let's say you fall on this thing three times and, and you've repacked it a couple times. Yep. You might just be like, you know what? I'm just going to grab a new one. Just going to grab a new one. And then for the same price as you would have paid for one suit and one unit, You've gotten multiple deployments in two suits. 100%, yeah. 100%. Or you could take the suit that you fell in. If it needed a little repair, you could repack it, get a little repair done, and buy a new one. Now you got a backup, man. Now you got a whole backup suit. So, I mean, now you got two just in case if anything happens. That's always a plus, too. So you're kind of saving, you know, technically, if you get down to it, the, the course of a couple of years, you half the cost of what half, you would. Half, and you're, you're giving prior. up nothing. So these suits have been used here in the U.S., by Team Hammer, right? Vision Wheel M4, X Star, Suzuki, they got a lot of names. Mm -hmm. For three years, kind of helped Chris put that deal together. The riders on that team, it's a big team. They've smashed some motorcycles over that period of time. Yeah, probably just as many as I have. Yeah, and it's worked great. The riders are happy. Chris is happy. We're happy. We're happy enough that this year, Max is racing in RST. And at the end of the day, well, I love everybody. I probably, it'd be fair to say I love my son more and I'd have more concern for him. I would not even consider putting him in this stuff if I didn't believe that I was giving away nothing, right? The protection is everything it should be and then some, and then there's advantages like that self-repack where they're at the racetrack, something Shades happens, everything. bam, we can just get you right back out there. Within minutes, so. Within minutes and it's affordable. I think for most people riding on the racetrack, you're a track day rider, you're a club racer, this Pro Series suit and the kangaroo suit we're going to show next are going to be really hard to beat. I'm going to jump off the soapbox now and we're going to finish features and benefits. So we have external shoulder protector that works with the level 2 certified armor there. We have a replaceable elbow slider if you can corner low enough to drag that, we can sell you a replacement four-way stretch fabric. This spans across the top of the shoulders, over into the chest, continuously down into the cuffs. The mobility on this thing is incredible, and it's also important to note, this is going to flow air freely. Tons of perforation in the torso. Motion panel here in the elbow. Get down to the legs. Motion panel in the knee. External knee protector. These use standard Velcro knee sliders. The factory 4.1 suit uses reverse sliders. Yes, we have those in stock for you too. Motion panel here in the upper arm. Now look at these motion panels. Turn you just a little bit. Right here from the shoulder down to the waist, all the way across the waist. This thing, super mobile. We got more perforation back here. Four way stretch, two layers of cowhide in the seat. And I want you to pay a special attention to how this suit fits Max, and then you can look at the other video for the Evo 4.1 Kangaroo race suit. They're cut a little differently. Much the, different. This Pro Series suit is roomier, it, right? It is roomier, yeah. Like, honestly, so with my V4.1 or with any V4.1, it's going to be slimmer. Like, for me, I'm kind of a taller and lakier dude, somewhat, you know, 5'11", 150 pounds, kind of skinny. Um, and that suit fits me perfectly. Um, Grabs my waist nice, and I may sound a little weird, but I mean, it all just fits compact. So. We all know you're in good shape and nobody <laughs> cares. This has a really kind of Americanized cut. Somewhat, but it's not super aggressive. It's not super baggy, 
but it's more of an American cut where it's a little more upright, it's a little more roomier, and you can see there's a lot of room for Max to grow in here. If he all of a sudden he decides he wants to start eating ho-hos and two orders of chicken fingers again and stop working out every day, Sounds nice. he could keep this suit and it would fit him for a long time. Okay, in addition to the sizing reference we gave you with Max, I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, 192 pounds, 32 inch waist. I'm wearing a size 54 Euro, 44 US in the Pro Series. Comparing this to the V4.1, you can see clearly this is a more upright cut. It's roomier everywhere, right? Carrying a little extra around the middle, this suit is really going to do a great job of accommodating, which it already has in the non-airbag versions, people of different builds, different sizes, while still offering a very high level of mobility. A lot of information there, and there's more to come. When we come back, we're going to give you an inside-out look at the Pro Series Evo airbag suit. All right, here we go. The RST Pro Series Evo airbag suit from the inside out. It's going to be a lot of information here, okay? So let's start off with, hey, I just got my suit. I pulled the bag off the outside. What am I going to see? Blue hanger is going to clearly denote airbag suit. All of our suits in this production run are coming with the in-in box. And this is different than in Europe. And in Europe, they don't supply the box. It's coming with the controller, the brains of it, with the suit. There are steps you have to take to activate this. We're going to explain that more as we move forward. Armor that is included with the suit. Level 1 certified armor in the knee and shin. Level 2 in the elbow and forearm. Level 2 in the shoulder. Level 2 in the hip. There is a level 1 back protector that is part of the airbag system. We're going to show you that as we get a little deeper into the video. So now let's talk in and motion airbag. Okay, this is why we're here. This is why you're interested in it. Before we dive into the control unit, you know, let's show you the coverage area. Here is the liner of the suit. Fully removable, very easy to do. It has integrated into it a back protector. This is the outer shell that covers the inflator. And then right in this portion here, we'll show you that in a minute, your in and box is going to slide in. The coverage area of this, for the back, it's easier to show from the other side, right? But I can show you kind of in this area where it crosses your shoulders. Right, anywhere you see bladder rolls over the top of the shoulders and it comes down, obviously, the chest. You can see how far down that comes, right? And this thing expands out when it inflates. There's videos, in and motion videos that are available online, right? Expands out, tremendous coverage area. We've already tested this, by the way. Max tested uh, his practice suit down at Barber Motorsports Park, had a good crash, so we learned a lot about it, worked great. And there is all your back coverage, you can see that here, tremendous coverage in that area. The integrated back protector and inflator, while we're here, we'll give you a look. CE certified, there is the gas charge. Remember, this is self-servicing, can be repacked up to five times as long as the condition of the suit is such that you want to continue using it or it needs just a basic repair and you want to keep going with the same one, you can repack this on your own up to five times and the expense for that is $99, right? This is the most affordable while still being protective and extremely effective system that is currently on the market today. The in and box, it's gonna come in a box like this. This is one of ours right here. First thing you wanna do is you wanna get this thing charged up. It takes about three hours to charge it when it's new or when it's depleted. 25 hour battery life, which is tremendous. One thing I would recommend is when you're done, right? Especially when you're, when, when you're going home, I would take it out of the suit and using the little micro switch right here, I would turn it off. I just turned it to the on position. This is something that you need to do before you actually insert it into the suit. Their app, 
was super easy to use, very easy to set up. They have tutorials on their in and motion. Close that and reopen it. On their in and motion YouTube channel, they have a lot of great tutorials. And for some of that technical stuff, you know what, you're just better to go there. Look at that, we're connected. And you can see where the kid has already tested it. We need to repack it. We're going to shoot a video on that on his training suit, right? Hope to get that done when we get back from Road Atlanta. But there is our battery indicator. You can see it's noted that we've now inflated it. There is a secondary switch. So let's say you're at the racetrack. You have this inserted in the suit. The micro switch is on. Your riding day is done. You also don't want to leave it just hanging on the peg with the thing going all the time. Even though it goes into standby mode on its own, you're better off just to make sure that it's turned off. And you can do that. There's a central button right here. Two quick presses. You can see we are now disconnected from the app. How do we install it? Okay, you don't have to pull the liner out to do it. You can just unzip, right? over the shoulders, right up the torso, over the shoulders, pull this out a little bit, get perfect access, drop it in like so, make sure everything's lined up, takes a little bit of force to clip it over, that is firmly held in place, there's a release right here, push up on it, and this one's brand new so it's a little to the tight side. Push out, out comes the box. Very simple to use. We're going to do some other videos on repacking, right, and, and whatnot. But this thing, I set this up. I'm old, okay? I'm going to be 53 this year. When I was a kid, they didn't even really have computers. And this was easy for me, right? This was a piece of cake. I liked it with the phone because we're sitting there at the track and before I take care of the kid when he's there, right? I have to take care of myself if I'm riding and take care of him too. You know, I would just make sure the app was open. I could see where his battery life was at. I could see that we we're connected because we're right there in our hot pit. It worked great. It was super simple, right? It very clearly recognized that it had inflated while we were there. They've done a good job with their software and that's gonna be beneficial. They do have an office here. It's a French company. They have an office here now in the US. I cold called these folks already and without them knowing that I'm one of their dealers, they picked right up. The support was great, right? And I was just kind of trying to feel it out and make sure that everything was good to go there because there may come a time when our customers here are gonna need a little bit of assistance. And I just wanna fact check and make sure that we're good. Repacking. I showed you where the canister was, super simple to access that. We're gonna try and shoot a video on, on Max's to kind of supplement what In In Motion already has out there. At the end of the day, they're the experts, right? So look to them as well. We have these in stock to support the suit sales. Some instructions and literature that I can't see without glasses on. There's your replacement gas charge. And here is a little adapter that you're able to thread in the same way that you would the canister. You can hook this to a bicycle pump. Once again, look to their videos, get the right specification right, for the amount of air they want you to put in there to test. What you want to do is you want to make sure that when you pump it up, it's not just leaking tremendous amounts of air like it's been violated. The airbag that is in the suits that we have brought in, this is their latest and greatest. They've learned a lot, ton of testing. This thing, are you ready for this? It could be repacked five times, up to five times. Now, when you think about that, and I've been doing this for a long time now, crashed some bikes. My son has managed to crash some things and you learn a lot over the years. There are some crashes where, you know, you have a little crash, the airbag goes off and, we, and I've literally wiped his suit off with Formula 409 or a Gojo towel and called it good, right? There's other crashes where you fall down in a long corner on a low side and you just end up on the ground for a long time and maybe you get a little seam that's a little weakened, but it's still usable. If you're at the racetrack for either one of these, these before mentioned situations, I would have one of these in my spare kit 
so that way you pop the canister, you're still good to go suit-wise, and you don't want to ride without this level of protection, right? You have it, you're ready to go, pop it in there, reset it with the app, you're back on track, okay? Now, thinking forward because everything is, is integrated, you know, your worst case scenario is, you know, say the suit, it's a little worse for wear. You need to send it out for some repair, but it's a repair that's only going to be a few hundred dollars. 100% it's worth doing. You get the suit repaired, you get it back, $99 later, you're back on track. Now, you can also think about it in these terms, right? This Pro Series suit, for example, as of the time we're shooting this video, we're selling it for $1,099. That's with the integrated airbag. This is this Pro Series suit. It's proven to be a durable, good, quality, protective suit. That $1,000, right, that $1,100 is the cost of competitive airbag systems without a suit, no suit. And most of the suits that you're going to put the airbag in or use the airbag with at a minimum are like $1,100. Ones that really become comparable with the stuff that we've shown you, you know, the $1,500, $2,000. So you're looking at a $3,000 bill before you really are out there participating in the sport that we all have come to love, right? So do the math and do it with what you think is appropriate for you. Our experience with these suits without the airbags, it's basically the same suit. They've proven very durable with pricey. A lot of people already on the racetracks that, thank you for all the business, everyone, that have purchased these from us over the last few years, the non-airbag versions, and they've held up great. That's why they continue to sell. They're affordable. They perform great. They're protective, right? This is no different. It just adds in the I think the most critical point, which is airbag protection. I think this opens up airbag protection to pretty much everybody's budget at this point. There's very few riders now that would be able to say, I, I can't afford to be in an airbag. This opens the door for everybody and it's without compromise. We talked about this a little bit earlier. Team Hammer here in the US, Moto America, this is be season I think number three in the RST suits. Those suits are made by the same people with the same materials in the same factory. The in and motion airbags, right? They're in those suits. The team has had a great experience with it, and that's a big team. They've crashed a lot of motorcycles over that period of time. You look at the fact that now my son, Max Van, is racing an RST this year. The reason I'm doing that is because I think this package is every bit is protective. I thought I was giving anything away compared to the Alpine Stars that we used before, right? I wouldn't do it. The, the, there is one difference I'll point out right now. In terms of airbag coverage, the in and motion focuses on the chest, the back, and the over the shoulder. The Alpine Stars, depending on the model, right, each has some shoulder protection on the Alpine Stars, and the Tech Air 10 has some in the hip area, so there can be some advantages picked up there, but there's takeaways with that too. One of the takeaways, talked about this a little bit before, is going to be by having this integrated into the liner, and into the race suit, you're losing other layers. When you add other layers, you add weight, you add heat, and it also becomes maybe just a little bit more restrictive. Really depends on how the garment fits you, but that's a fair statement. Better airflow here and a little more comfortable. So when you compare all the things, you want to compare everything as apples to apples, you know, benefits, pros, cons, as humanly possible. Before I talk about the airbag for a whole day, let's go ahead and look at the suit itself a little bit. Pro Series suit. Massive. This is all cowhide, right? Premium cowhide. Massive stretch panels, all done in leather. A lot of perforation here on the back of the suit. Double layer of leather in the seat. Integrated tailbone protector. Four-way stretch is used. Get to the sleeve of the suit. Replaceable elbow slider. Leather motion panel in the elbow. We've got a nice perforated panel there. Motion panel here in the shoulder of the suit integrated shoulder protector that works in conjunction with the level 2 certified armor behind it to increase protection in that area. Torso of the suit, 
tons of perforation. All this four-way stretch that comes from the cuff through the upper arm into the chest, this is all out of the impact zone, over the back of the shoulders, really increases the comfort, allows for the airbag deployment, and it also flows air freely, so you're gonna enjoy even more cooling properties from all that stretch fabric that's been used. Leather panel here in the inner thigh area is perfed. All four-way stretch in the crotch. There's some rubberized Kevlar here to protect that seam. It also interacts with the tank or the tank grips on your bike to help reduce the amount of effort you have to spend squeezing the tank to hold on to the bike. Got some nice protective foam padding that is used to complement the knee armor in the knee and shin area as well. Replaceable standard Velcro knee sliders with the Pro Series. You know, I'd like to point out too, look at how these motion panels, how far forward they come. They almost roll around the front of the suit, intersecting with the hip there. There's a lot of mobility with this one. This one's cut just a little bit less racy than the V4.1 Evo, right? So an amazing option for track days and or club racing. It, arguably, there's probably not a better value on the market today. If you're looking for a track day suit with an airbag or without, or a club racing suit, you're probably not going to be able to meet or exceed the value that we're showing you here today with this Pro Series. It's a lot of information. I talked for a long time. There still may be some questions. Feel free to leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm always here to make sure you're as ready for your next ride as we are.